Go ahead. How did you come up with this idea? Well, the idea really was my name Dale Bosnay is my partner in this, who was one of the founders of NOS. And I worked for him from 90 to 98, and I left, and about a year or two later, he came to me and said, back when he was young, this was a long, long time ago, Mickey Thompson tried doing this sort of thing with some very rudimentary controls in the 70s or whatever. And he, he pitched the idea, and he's like, well, can we do this? So I simplistically said, yeah, physically it's possible. I mean, in two years, $25,000, we have a car running. Well, we missed that on both marks by a huge amount. But anyway, that's, that was the genesis of the idea. And then it's just a matter of working through the physics of it. And I spent the last 30 years doing gas dynamics stuff. Fuel system down there at the NOS. So that's like where your area of expertise is. Yeah. Was like, I mean, the degrees are aerospace, but I was working in pneumatics and gas handling. So this literally was an extension of that. I don't think all the bits and pieces had to be custom tailored for this because there's nothing out there you can buy off the shelf. And we do this. I mean, you know, each of the individual pieces, there's industrial counterparts, but none of them had the flow capability or the pressure capability or whatever of doing what we needed to do. So we'll go through and see there's a number of bits on this that all say CAS on it. So those are all developed by us specifically to make a compressed air discharge system work on the end. Just what I did, you know. Yeah. That's awesome. Man. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's always the thing, man. Like, they seem simple on camera, or they seem simple on the paper, but when you go to do it in real life, it takes 10 times as much effort. Oh, it is. I mean, the regulator is an offshoot of something that was made for charging a system in the space shuttle way back then. Right. So we, we reverse engineered that. Environment it had to work in was much more forgiving than what we're doing here. I think we could carry it in a minutia, but you know, we're taking 3,300 psi and knocking it down to 100, 120, so like a 30 to 1 reduction, which is insane for a single stand regulator. So there's all sorts of things we have to do with coatings and trick stuff to make it consistent and make it work down there. Again, the ID, each one of these components is fairly simple. The nuances of making it work for something like this is a lot of effort. Yeah. With the flow, 